A lot of people say that brown is just dark orange. Well, maybe orange is just light brown. So this pigment was discontinued, I don't know, like 1998 or something, and oh, PO49 has been sort of like the white whale of a lot of artists ever since. You can't buy the paint, you can't even buy the dry pigment. The only source now is Gera, and they only sell it in dispersion form. That means it's like suspended in water, and so if you want to mix it with linseed, you'll have to like evaporate it first. I don't really have the patience for that, I just want to try this thing out. So I'm going to mix it with some gesso and make a tinted ground. Immediately as you see this brown pigment dilute, you get like these hot orange tones, right? But then as you mix it in uh, to the white gesso, it lightens up. It's, it's kind of got like a 70s kitchen feel right now, which I kind of like, but I'm going to go a little darker. No, must not let the precious drip on the bottle. Goes on chocolatey, schmears out orangey. Mmm. All right, it's a sunny day out there, so we're gonna take this guy outside for the sunshine test. Oh yeah, there it is. Quinacridone gold is right here the perfect complement, not only in terms of being the opposite hue angle, but also in terms of the same chroma level, is this guy, phthalo blue. And according to color science, or maybe you want to call it color lore, going back to the 1830s, if you put contrasting hues against each other, juxtapose them, they will make each other appear more vivid. So let's try it. All right, now we slam some phthalo blue and white together. <laughs> Damn it, that is a question mark. All right, let's see if my theory is correct. Yep, orange is light brown.